So it's been a bit since we've seen you last. What have you been up to? Uh, training and trying to get a fight. Um, yeah, I was supposed to fight Vicente, um, I think, in the somewhere in the March area. Uh, I still had a little lingering injury from my Kelvin fight. I just needed a little bit more time. Uh, I was trying to get that fight rescheduled for April. Didn't come didn't come to fruition, but it's all right. So I've been just waiting since, and uh, they called with Gilbert for a main event. It was going to be July, then it was going to be August, then we finally landed on September, and uh, we got locked in, and yeah, here we are. Worth the wait? Worth the wait. Gilbert Burns, main event um, at the Apex. I know some people aren't crazy about it here, but I love it. It feels like home. Like I was just moving around the cage, and it just feels like another day at the gym. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, you come in, you do your business. I don't need all the lights and the cameras and all the, the crazy shit. Uh, I just come in here, do my job, and go back to Philly. Does it feel different being the main event, like this fight week? Does it feel special? Um, yeah and no, because your next fight is always your biggest fight. I don't want to make it bigger than what it is. But, yeah, of course, there's a little bit more things. But um, you get, they've done a really good job at not overwhelming me with, like, there's not a insane amount of media and insane amount of shit you have to do um yeah so it's been pretty pretty smooth and uh i'm just enjoying it all you know like um one day we're not going to be able to do this when i'm an old man i want to look back and uh say that i enjoyed all these little moments so yeah i'm i'm very happy what do you think has been the coolest little moment just being on the main event like signing your name the poster yeah the, seeing your face on the poster uh, i fought for regional organizations where i was a champion and i had my face on posters but uh, when you're in the UFC and you have that, and just seeing like how proud I sent it to my parents, and they were just so happy, my wife, because they've been there for this entire time. You know, um, my parents were coming out here, my wife was coming out here during our COVID fights when they couldn't even come inside this building. They were watching that bars on the strip. So uh, yeah, it's just as important for me as um, it is for them, and I just know they're so proud of me, and that makes me happy. What do you think about Gilbert Burns? When you got that name, what was the first thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I was kind of asking for Gilbert. I was asking for a lot of guys, but um, Gilbert was definitely one of them. I respect Gilbert. He's an amazing fighter. He's done amazing things. He's fought for the belt. Um, he had a competitive fight with some of the best guys. He was, had a great fight going with Jack until it didn't go his way. Um, he's a great fighter, great competitor, and I'm just looking forward to testing myself against him. I think it's my first really like true veteran fight that I'm going to get to test myself against someone who's been there, done that. Um. Did you bring anyone in special for this fight camp with him? I have. Um, we have so many guys at our gym now. It's really kind of cool. Like, we became, before, like, guys would leave and go other places to the train. Now we're a gym where we have guys traveling all over the world to come and train with us. So we have so many good guys that, um, yeah, it, it, it was a really good camp. Very, very hard, long camp. But um, I think uh, the best Sean Brady is going to show Saturday night. I know everybody says they, you know, they train for five rounds, but what are you actually legitimately expecting from him in there? Um, I mean, I'm expecting a very hard Gilbert to come out. He's lost his last two fights, but I would expect nothing less. If he, was, if he won his last two fights, I would expect him to come out the same way. He's not a guy who's um, going to change anything. You know, He's going to train just as hard, come out and fight just as hard, whether he's on a winning streak or a losing streak. I'm just looking forward to, and I train for the best Gilbert. Uh, what about a win over him, what would that do for your career? Put me right where, um, I, the trajectory I'm trying to go on, you know, I wanna fight for the belt one day, but I'm not rushing there. Um, after Gilbert, a couple more fights, and I'll be right where I wanna be. So do you, do you think if you could get like maybe a first round finish or something crazy in there, do you think that could put you into talk for a title or, or number one contender fight? Um, maybe, but I think I got a few more to go. You know, I think I go out here, I beat Gilbert, I win one or two more, and then I'm in the talks. But I'm not in a rush for it, you know. Um, I'm not, I've done that before. I wanted to, when I fought Bilal, I wanted to just go in there, get that fight, and go and fight, a, fight for the belt afterwards and do all these things. But, um... I want to do this for a long time. I don't want to rush anything, and I want to do it the right way. What did you think of Bilal's performance? Amazing. He looked great. Um, yeah, he, uh, he shut everybody up, and he did what he said he was going to do. So good for him. Who do you think should be next for that? For the belt? Yeah. It's tough. I mean, uh, there's no clear-cut, like, uh, number one contender because – there's Shavkat, but he just beat Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy is kind of long in the tooth, you know. He didn't, it's not maybe like him and Jack fight and the winner of that. Um, then you got Kamara out there, so maybe Shavkat and, and uh, Usman. So, yeah, I feel like there's got to be a couple guys go out and fight and then Bilal get the winner.
Last question for me. Who do you think has the best shot of dethroning him as champion? I mean, there's so many guys. Like, our division's so good that I think everyone, on any given night, anyone can lose, and um, I think it's the same thing for Bilal. Thank you. Yep. Did you get any new, any new tattoos? Yeah, I got this dragon on my neck, son. Uh, that's, the only, that's the only new one I've gotten. Got any plans for, that, for the next one? Uh, not really. I haven't really thought about it. I've just been so focused on this fight. I bought a brand new dirt bike, so the only thing I'm looking forward to doing after this fight is going in riding my dirt bike. Obviously, you're uh, covering your whole body pretty quick, so like once your body is done, like you have a little, you have a little bit on, on like your ankle, like your feet a little bit. Yeah, I got a couple spots. I'm actually going to get this arm lightened up and completely redone with all Japanese. So I got some. Uh, I got some plans. I got, I got some time and I got some plans, but when I'm fighting, I can't, like, it's just going to take too much time. So that's going to be for older Sean. Are you leaving your face away from tattoos? I'll never do my face. I said I wouldn't do my neck. My mom was highly upset with me doing the sides and the back. Uh, eventually I'll do the front, but I will never do my face. My mom will kill me. And I, I don't know if my wife, I remember I was getting the back of my head done, the cheetah and, uh, I remember I had the, it, the outline on my neck, and they were about to tattoo it, and I was, like, nervous. So I FaceTimed my wife because I didn't know what she was going to think about it, and she loved it. So I'm like, all right, bet. Like, I'm not going to get in trouble with her, so it's all good. Um, you know, I wanted to ask you, obviously, when you lost to Bilal, you had the fans completely turn on you. And, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, and then you go out there and just dominate Kelvin, right? Yeah, and then yeah. they, they all come back. And that was something that you had, like, said, like, you kind of predicted, like, just wait. like Yeah, the, yeah. How annoying is that? It was hard because um, I lost to Bilal, and then I came back. I was supposed to have a couple fights. I had some injuries. So it, was just, it just took long to get back and prove to everyone. But at the end of the day, it was the best thing that ever happened, like, to me, like, getting that pressure off of being undefeated, going out there, um... I felt like I was just tr not fighting to win fights. I was fighting to keep my undefeated record. And uh, once I lost, I felt such a relief. And then me getting hurt afterwards, had to, I really had to sit in that and, um, like, fix my injuries and then really, like, refocus and just get some shit straight with my, my mind. And, and that led to the Kelvin fight, and that led to me being – a completely different fighter, but not only that, just a better human being and just enjoying every day and just being super grateful and present in what I do. I was always looking forward to the next thing, the next train, and the next this, the next that. I'm just enjoying this. You know, I'm being where my feet are and just going uh, one moment at a time. Yeah, it's like everybody was like, oh, he's a fraud. He got fraud. Yeah, like, blah, yeah. Blah, and then I don't know. I don't understand the fraud check thing. Like, I don't, like, first of all, Twitter fucking sucks. Full, it's a cesspool full of miserable, miserable people. It's insane. Like, and I'm not like a, like, but like these people on there are nuts. Like the shit you never say anything that these guys say like to your face. Like there's some fucking dork in their mom's basement just eating Cheetos. But it's how like I got fraud checked. Joey got fraud checked. Someone, a bunch of other guys got like, I'm, how are you? A, how, like what's getting fraud checked by a fighter who's in the top 10, top 15? I just don't understand it. So like, that's frustrating to see because um, it's never other fighters who are saying it. And if it is, then, like, it's very – it's far – it's – many guys don't do that, you know. But, um, yeah, I don't understand the fraud check thing. But, yeah, I guess I got fraud checked by the UFC champion. Thanks, bro. Um, what, what's, the, what's the score that the Eagles are going to win by on Friday? <laughs> A million. Nah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be cool. Uh, my, my strength coach is out there with them. He would have been here with me, but uh, he's Lane Johnson's, like, trainer and assistant, so he's out there with those guys. And, yeah, it's cool just being – like, I'm, I see Lane a couple times a week and uh, just seeing the Eagles guys. It's they're, – they're next – I'm happy I'm not a heavyweight. And MMA would be completely different if these boys were – if these freak athletes were in the heavyweight division, they're – it's crazy how athletic they are and the things that they, they do. But, um, yeah, the Eagles buy a million. And finally, you said that you've gained a lot more guys in the gym. Um, who are some people that the fans need to yeah. look out for? Um, 
one of my main training partners. His name's Ito. He's Georgian. I don't know how to say his last name. Uh, but he's 5-0. and oh. He's looking – he's really good. He um, knocked out Lucas Barboza on PFL. Well, not, I'm sorry, he didn't knock out Lucas. He beat Lucas. He knocked out an Olympic, cha- an Olympic champion before that. And then my other guy is Igor. He's 6-0. and oh. Refugee from Ukraine, amazing fighter. He just fought for XFC. So a couple more fights, and um, he'll be he'll be here for sure. But, yeah, we have so many good guys. Joey, Nur Sultan, Jeremiah Wells, um, Andre, Sabatini. It's, we're getting all these guys coming from all over the world, too, which is awesome because I love all the, um, the Russian and the Uzbek guys that we get and the Ukrainian guys. They're, they come over, they work super hard, and, yeah, it's awesome. Uh, you know, just to follow up on that, you know, obviously – your gym was such a small gym for such a long time. Is it cool seeing, yeah. seeing so many people yeah. want to come with you guys? We were just having that talk. It's either like you're at a super camp or you're at a gym that – I could see how a gym kind of – we're not a super gym. Like we're on the fourth floor. My coach doesn't turn on the, the, the AC. We were practicing 100-degree weather. Like our temperature was reading 95 days. Like it was ridiculous. Like we don't have – it's a nice gym, but it's not some crazy – Big facility. My coach John Marquez did it all himself. Ball all the like we don't have sponsors or anything like that. But it is cool to see guys that like we're in the gym for like big me, Pat, Jonathan, Paul Felder. Like we all train together, and then Joey and all these other guys came over. And now that we have Nursultan and all these guys coming over from Uzbek, and yeah, it's crazy to see like now guys are traveling, um, traveling for us. So it's awesome. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. A lot of times, I think when people see Brazilians in the the fight card, they assume that they have the better grappling, they, yeah. they have the better submission yeah. skills. But yeah. I would wager that you are the more dangerous grappler. How would you rate his submission and his grappling skills? Gilbert, amazing jujitsu. Um, obviously, he's won worlds and everything like that. But um, that was a long time ago, and that was in the gi. Um, gi and no gi is completely di- different. MMA jujitsu is completely different as well. I think he has great submissions. He's, I'm sure he's great on bottom. But, yeah, I definitely think that I have better jujitsu, and I'm looking to test it. Obviously, Brazilians, amazing jujitsu. But the tides are starting to turn where you see it's a lot of Americans. You know, um, we're, we're, we're killing it in the jujitsu game. Can you explain the difference to people that maybe the difference of MMA jiu-jitsu as opposed to competition jiu-jitsu that they might see out there? They might look at a competition and say, oh, this guy placed at Worlds. Yeah. I think he'll do great yeah, in the yeah. UFC. Well, because once you add in punches, everything changes. And sport jiu-jitsu, like, guys pull guard. Um, they play off their back a lot. Whereas in MMA, we're not trying – we don't want to be on our back at all. You know, if you end up there, like, yeah, you better know what you're doing. But we're not laying on our back and accepting the guy on top. We're trying to get on top – um, but yeah, it's two completely different sports, and that's what it is. Like I see a lot of people giving sport jujitsu crap for like the the butt the butt scooting and the pulling guard, but it's a sport. That's what they do. Like we're not going to go out there because we don't want to we don't want to sit on our butt and get punched, you know. So all the leg locks and everything change once once punches are added into it. You still have uh, aspirations to do it post-fighting days, and are you trying to do more of it while you're still fighting? Hundred percent. I was going to. I had some things lined up, um, and then we were supposed to have this fight in July, so uh, they fell off. I was going to try to go on Fury. Um, I used to be the champion for CFFC back home, and they have Fury grappling now. That's where I went against Craig on there. I went against Ben Saunders on there. I was going to have a match on there, but we postponed because we thought the fight was going to be in July. But um, I would love to do the Craig Jones Invitational, three five-minute rounds, five fives. Um, yeah, there's a wall. It's just like it'd be. It's just like MMA. So it'd be awesome. I definitely want to do more during my fighting career, and once I'm done, definitely. And then last one, just about this fight. What are your keys to the victory? What needs to happen to make sure you get your arm raised on Saturday? Stay present. Uh, stay in the moment. 25 minutes locked in, and I win this fight. Good luck. Yes, sir. Thank you. I just have one more for you. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed. I'm sure you're paying attention to the YouTube, U- UFC YouTube. That's sarcasm. Uh, they just uploaded a compilation of grapplers getting knockout wins. Uh-huh. I'm curious, do you think that that was coincidental, or are they giving you guys those little juju for a knockout? Uh, I mean, you never know. I know Gilbert hits hard. He's got a couple of knockouts. Uh, I know that I haven't shown it, but I know that I punch very hard, and, yeah, it could, it could happen. Thanks. Yes, sir. Oh, sorry. Yes, ma'am. 